Hello and salutations, Mr. Toffee here, and I welcome you once again to This Week in PC Gaming News. We skipped out on last week's video because of Tokyo Game Show 2022. We have a boatload of content for that, so do check out all of our gameplay and coverage on that auspicious gaming weekend if you haven't. That said, let's see what's in store for the Master Race this week. The unthinkable has happened. Early raw unfinished footage of the upcoming Rockstar Games sandbox title Grand Theft Auto 6 has been leaked. Subsequent videos of this particular gameplay has been taken down already. This leak, comprising about an hour of in-development footage, is a work in progress in its rawest form, albeit without that little disclaimer at the bottom of the screen. It is clearly not some marketer's plan, which is to hand-feed a discussion of a big game's features to sustain interest in for a game from announcement to launch. It's just that, a leak. A hacker did this, and boy are they going to be in trouble from Take-Two and Rockstar. Do check out a deep dive into the leak on this special video featuring awesome KKP guy, Lewis. Blizzard really wants action RPG Diablo 4, coming out next year, to be relevant in the long run more so than its current action RPG darling Diablo 3 that's been around for 10 years plus. There will be a D4 closed beta focusing exclusively on its endgame systems. Said beta will include the following game modes, Helltide, Nightmare Dungeons, Whispers of the Dead, and Fields of Hatred. The catch? Blizzard is incredibly particular on who it invites for this closed beta session. You'll need to be opted into news and special offers on Battle.net and be an experienced grinder in the previous Diablo games. If you played Diablo 2 Resurrected's endgame and its multiple difficulties, or played a ton of Diablo 3's seasons, you're definitely a shoe in for the D4 endgame beta. Fat Shark has announced the closed beta test dates for the four player co op game Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. From the 14th to 16th October 2022, PC gamers will be able to visit Hive City and kill the shit out of the monsters there in 4-player co-op glory. You can sign up now by heading on over to PlayDarkTide.com for a chance to have an intense weekend in October. After months of rumours, Marvel and EA have finally confirmed that an all-new single-player third-person action-adventure Iron Man video game is now in early development at Montreal-based Motive Studio. The team is being led by Olivier Prohl, who brings experience working on past Marvel titles like Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and is joined by a dedicated team of passionate industry veterans including Ian Frazier, Marlene Lumineau and J.F. Poirier at the studio. Motive Studio brings their talent and excitement for creating fan-favorite worlds for players to explore and be their own hero, in this case Iron Man with experience developing titles like Star Wars Squadrons and the upcoming Dead Space remake on 27 January next year. Video Game Donkey, a YouTube content creator known for his video game critiques and whatnot, is opening an indie game publishing company called Big Mode, a passionate voice for quality, originality, and fun in indie games. According to a video he published announcing the company, he is sick of watching from the sidelines and believes he can use his reach, critique experience, and gaming know-how to help bring promising indie titles to market. Of course, some folks in the industry have taken umbrage at this, citing that Donkey's experience is solely on the multitude of games he's played. But hey, if there's a publisher willing to throw money at indie devs while offering the best value for them in the short and long run, especially from someone passionate about the hobby for 11 years straight, maybe this gift horse in the mouth is one worth exploring. And here are this week's top PC gaming picks for the week. I miss point and click adventure games, so it's nice to know that the man behind the Dead Spank series and the OG Monkey Island titles and his company are doing 2022's Monkey Island sequel, albeit with a unique art style. Return to Monkey Island is an adventure game for the series fans since the 90s of LucasArts' awesome adventure gaming. Returning players will adore the fan service and familiar sense of warmth that encapsulates the whole experience, yet it still strives to make itself somewhat approachable for beginners. Long story short, great clever puzzles, a neat art style that fits, and great writing. Happiness is indeed a warm manatee with this adventure game. 
If you love Devil May Cry and Bayonetta, but want to play something recent on the PC, why not try this Eurojank S knockoff? I, I kid, I kid. Developer Modus has released an action game called Solstice, where you play two sisters, one badass berserk influenced knight and one ghost, as they team up against the undead and evil raids. It's hack and slash castle crawling and ghost realm exploring from start to finish, with combos, puzzles and arena fights aplenty. It's not as refined as the aforementioned inspirations I mentioned, but you can appreciate the effort from the mid-sized team here. How about some top-down 2D roguelike action RPGing? Why not give No Place for Bravery a shot? This title from Glitch Factory and Yeast Spirit Games has a lot of combat, a ton of lovely and gory pixel artwork, and a whole ton of red, like a metal album cover from a Paul Robertson stand. If you love slow, deliberate combat with some challenges and aggressiveness, No Place for Bravery is probably worth checking out. Lastly, we have Trombone Champ. It's an indie-made rhythm game featuring classical music and trombones. And baboons! I'll just let the gameplay clip speak for itself. DOTY material for sure! And that's it for our weekly PC Gaming Roundup, where we bring you the best news and game picks for the Master Race platform, be it desktops or laptops. If you like more videos like these, do subscribe to our YouTube page and smash that notification button like you would hold down that high note in a random trombone game with me clones. We post new content every week. Bye for now, and keep your gaming real. Real PC! Oh yeah. Ha <laughs>